Hello YouTube, Metal Trooper 62 here, and here we have some more AK parts. This is a parts kit that I bought from Arms of America, the place I normally buy my parts kits from. Been, I do a lot of business with them, they take care of me, and I've never had any, any issues with any of the stuff I've got from them. They represent their parts and everything else they sell. They represent them very well. And I keep going back. But anyway, get to this. This is a Romanian PM MD65 or simply MD65. This is Romania's First underfolding AKM. So we will get into the parts. Um, there's these are a little bit rare of a kit. Um, they are still around. They kind of pop up here and here and there. Arms of America had gotten some in battlefield condition, which this one is, and then they had have some that are in. Uh, what they claim to be excellent condition, and I have one of those kits on the way. So I should have that one here in a week or so. But anyway, this is the Trunnion, the front Trunnion, and you can see this is from 1972. This is a all, not all matching parts, but mostly all matching. The main, the main Parts that matter are matching. And you can see DJ0858. And I haven't done any cleaning on this. I did some wiping, grease and stuff. This is the rear trunnion, the underfolder trunnion. This thing is beefy. I mean, this is like a block of steel, and they just milled it out. Kind of like they did back in the old days. Very nice. The pistol grip is a really dark brown, almost a burgundy type color. It's well used, but still very functional. The gas block, like I said, this is a battlefield pickup considered. And so there's going to be finish wear, a little bit of rust. Nicks, dings, stuff like that, but that that per that pretty much gives your gives your rifle character and everything. But like I said, it does have a little bit of rust here and there, but that's going to be easily cleaned up. Trigger guard, good shape. Nothing unusual about that. The bolt, bolt in really good condition. And there's a DJ0858. Some of the paint has come off of that that number and that, but bolt looks to be good. The safety selector, and this one. Weight fifty eight front sight block, nothing too does have some small pitting and finish wear, which most of these parts will have. So, like I said, that gives that gives it character. This is the uh, rear sight block. This. Part was not matching. There's a electro pin 0856, so that's only two numbers off. But good condition. Typical wear. And I'm sure probably most of these AKs that they get probably were used in the Balkan Wars. 
Um, and then I repurpose medicine bottles. I take the, the script of who it's for and the names and what type of medication and all that off. Uh, make sure you do that if you use these. And then basically what I do with the small parts is I will write this, the, uh, the rifle or the firearms number on there and then put a brief description like DJ 0858 Romy model 50 model 65 and I just use different size containers for the different size parts but that keeps everything in order where I don't lose nothing because there are some small parts for the rear trunnion and the under folder with the little pins and whatnot Okay, and then these are the larger main parts. The cleaning rod did come with this, which sometimes these older kits, they don't have them in there, but that cleaning rod's in great shape. And you can see the top cover. It's got a lot of finish wear. There is some slight pitting and everything, but there's no major dents. And again, DJ0858. Bolt carrier. DJ0858. This actually looks pretty good. There's not a whole lot of finish wear on this. The upper hand guard. It is well used, got some dings and scratches, and this was not a matching number. This one is DN4245, and you can see again the rust. But like, like I said again, it'll clean up just fine, and it will work just fine. This is a recoil spring. And this one is this one is matching 0858. This is in pretty decent shape, good shape, I should say. This is just another small part. It's the hammer spring. Um, then the one of the unique things about this underfolder is the shape of the handguard or the dong, as some people call them. But it's reversed, so the underfolder will fold up underneath. This is a another Romanian lower handguard. I'm not sure what kit. Uh, AKM this came off of, but this one is in pristine shape. And I got this. This hasn't been refinished. This and I love the color of this wood. But I just showing that as comparison for this one and this one. I know the Romy G's had them. The model uh, 63's uh, Romy's had this. The AIM 74 had this forward uh, dong lower hand guard but again this was a battlefield pickup so the uh, arms of America did did me good and they got me something with some cool trench art on it I'm not sure what this says or means but it's got some really cool really cool stuff on it I S I A S I. I'm not sure what that is. I A S I there. And it's got the notches on the front. So lots of history with these, and that's another reason why I like these things. And I'll probably just put some kind of wood protectant on this. I'm not going to refinish this. This is all going to be basically. Um, I'm going to keep this in as much condition as this is in when I build this one. The other one I get will be a little bit more pristine. It's in excellent condition. And uh, 
So, yeah. And then the under folder is a little bit different too. As you can see, they're almost like steel steel tubes instead of the, typ the typical stamped sheet metal that other ones that most other underfolders have. And I have a underfolder, a more typical underfolder I'll show um, comparisons. But basically it's just these two sections of metal and pop rivet on a rivet on not, not a pop rivet but a rivet on each side and here is the more typical underfolder like with the polish and some of the other ones this one this stock is off a serbian npap akm but you can see it's stamped sheet metal and then you got the rivets or support and everything. I was going to weigh them. They feel about the same weight, but the Romanian one feels a little bit heavier. But until I weigh them, you can see some spot rivet, spot welds there to hold those plates in there. But anyway, like I said, this was a Battlefield pickup, and I got this about a week or so ago, and I had pre-ordered this. Um, Andrew said that they were going to be getting these in, so I pretty much pre-paid for one, because this is another one that, you know, this is another AK variant I don't have and I, I wanted. So they got them in, and he sent me the kit. And about a week later, then they listed their Category 2, which is the better condition variants of these. So I bought one of those. It's a little bit more. Uh, I think it was like 50 bucks more, something like that. But here lately, I've been buying at least two kits at a time. Um figure it's, it's an investment because a lot of this stuff, you know, there's only so many of these things out there. And eventually, you know, once they're all cut up and destroyed and send off, you know, for parts and stuff like that, then they're gone. And as a matter of fact, I've seen these going for just for the lower handguard, 60 to 80 bucks just for the lower handguard. Um, in a little bit better condition than this. But a lot of times, you know, that trench art, you know, that adds value to those that are specifically looking for, for stuff like that. I have some things that's got some trench art on it. Some people, I mean, they love collecting that stuff. But I thought that was really interesting. But anyway, uh, I guess that's about it. This rifle, this AK, was built at the Romarm factory in Cougar, Romania, as like most of them. As like most of them are. But uh, again, this was Romania's first underfolder, and it's going to be an interesting build. Until next time, I guess that's about it. Um, hope everybody's having a great day. Until next time, this is Metal Trooper 62 saying see ya.